Thank you very much. Uh, <coughs> I'd like to talk about the mock modular forms and representation theory of affinely super algebras. Uh, there is a very, <coughs> very simple definition by Zagier and others' paper. A mock, mock modular form is a holomorphic part of a real analytic modular form. And in the case of affine real algebras, there is a very beautiful theory by Katz and Peterson. They found that the character of integrable modules, the linear span of characters of integrable modules are SL to the invariant. And this result was extended to a little, a much wider class to admissible representations. And, and so in the case of affine real algebras, there is a very beautiful modular invariance. But in the case of affine super algebras, the character formula, it is not established, it is still conjecture, but there is a factor in, the, in this denominator. So because of this existence of this factor, the property of characters is very unclear. And then, but the very remarkable breakthrough was done by, was given by Zweigert. He proved that the super character of L lambda zero for SL21 hat module, affine SL21 module, is a mock modular form. And he gave an explicit formula for it for, uh, to, to a real analytic modular forms. And so extend, extending his method, we recently obtained the following cases. These super algebras of rank two and any integrable representation. Uh, rank 2 Li super algebras are SL21 and SL22 divided by center and OSP32. And this result, goes, uh, is pos it is possible to extend this result to admissible representations. And then we go to it, the quantum reduction and we get n equal 2 and n equal 4 super conformal algebras. We, we, get, we obtain the representations whose characters are mock modular forms. And how, how it can be done? So I would like to explain it in the simplest case, in the case SL hat to one, affine SL to one. So the general integral weight, which is vanish at Alpha one, alpha one is an odd, odd simple root. It's given by this formula. It's written in this form: a minus s lambda zero plus s lambda two. A method works for any s for for general this weight, but for simplicity, in this talk I would like to consider the case lambda is equal to m lambda zero. So, the super character, generally, super character has a better property than the characters from the view of the modular transformation. So we'd like to consider the super characters. Super character of L, M lambda zero for affine SL21 is given by this formula. This is a, this is a numerator and divided by super denominator. Super denominator is product of root. It is given by such formula. And to make calculation, we introduce the coordinates. And then super character is given by this formula and divided by super denominator. This is a product of Jacobi theta functions. So the denominator, this part is a, 
it is very easy to compute the modular properties. So the problem is how to compute the, how to, how to know the property of this function. So we put this function phi m tau g1, g2, t. Namely, we want to study the modular property of this function, the numerator of the super character. Modular property means the behavior and the action of SL2Z. And T action is simply tau plus one. And S action is a just in inversion, minus one over tau, G one over tau, G two over tau. And in the case of this function, phi m, the t action is very, very simple. Just it is fixed by t action. So we want to know the s action. What is phi m applied by s? So namely, in other words, phi m mi minus phi m s. What is this function? And First, we'd like to note that the difference, this difference is holomorphic function. The proof is very simple. First, consider case G1. Then we know very, very, it is very easy to know poles are G plus tau Z. And also poles tau plus tau Z. And by simple calculation, we see that residue is the same. So the difference is homologic. So, the, the, for further calculation, it is very convenient. The better variable, we introduce this much better variable, u and w. So we, we write this function in terms of u and w and put this function small phi m and difference is gm. So we want, so we want to know this, this function phi m. And gm, the property of gm, it is a homomorphic function. It is very simple, uh, j just uh, uh, as we have looked at it. And The, we consider the w plus one minus w. Then, by uh, not so difficult, it, it is very it it, it by, by by simple calculation we get it is a little in the in, in this form. So, and also we compute w minus. W minus tau, difference between W and W. It is also written in this formula. Uh, there is a misprint, S is equal to zero. So uh, at first I wrote the, in the general setting, so, so S remains, but S is equal to zero in my talk. So, and the holomorphic is a very, very, very good property. So, and GM is determined uniquely by the above three conditions because it is due to the Liouville's theorem. Doubly periodic homomorphic function is constant. So we can, it is directly, it, the uniqueness follows follow the dire directly. And one more thing, the point in this, in this formula, U appears in, in this form, theta minus theta, theta j minus theta minus j, and also theta j and theta minus j. So the behavior of the function gm with respect to u is very good. It is written by theta function, usual theta functions. But the behavior under w is a bit more complicated. So we'd like to no, uh, 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 so solve these equations. Uh, and it is possible to solve these equations. 
so we want to find GM of the form. So, so at, at this stage, at this point, we, we, we don't know whether it is GM is written in this form or not, but, but we put it. And we will show that there exists just a J tau. There is a function, holomorphic function, and satisfying this condition. Plus one, W plus one minus W is this part. This was taken just the coefficient of, uh, of the previous formula. That in the so, so it was taken from just this, just this form, and also take just this form. We get these, these three, three conditions, and by the holomorphic, uh, by the condition property holomorphic. So, if there exist. A, 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 J, a J is determined uniquely by these conditions. So, so then, so to construct, there is a very, very interesting Zweger's function. So, so Zweger introduced such kind of function. So, so I, I made some modifications. So, but essentially, this is Zweger's function. R m plus j is a signature of this minus e. e is a function of this. And important is the derivative of e prime. e prime is just equal to this function. So we, we use, we make use of this property. So, and very at a glance, it, is, it may look, looks very curious, but this function has a very good properties. R m plus j, w minus w minus tau, it just gives just, the, and also w plus one minus w. By simple calculation, we, we get this. And also, important point is differential. W bar derivative is, this is not homomorphic function because imaginary part of W, imaginary part. So this is a real analytic function, not homomorphic. And if we differentiate by D bar, then it is, it is a, a theta function with respect to anti variable variable minus tau bar and w bar. So anti holomorphic <laughs> theta function. Then by using this function, Zweda's function, Rm plus j, we put aj tau w is this function times some factors and S transform, modular transformation of R M plus K. So then these functions, we, we, we can prove that this function is holomorphic with respect to W. So in, in its place, in, in its pr proof, we use the, it is proved by using the transformation formula of Jacobi theta function theta j m plus one. So, so, and also th uh, this function satisfies the all conditions ex uh, expected for a, a j tab, tab w. And, and then we put phi ad additional term, phi additional function uh, by using this function r m plus j and that u part is just theta function. And, and this is, uh, we call it additional, additional term. And phi m plus this function, we put phi tilt m. This is modification of phi m, and it is a good modification. 
application because this function is modular invariant. This function is a modular function. And phi m is its holomorphic part. And, which is, and this function satisfies also elliptic properties, elliptic invariance, u plus a, w plus b is invariant, u plus a tau, w plus b tau, just uh, get such factors. So, Then the problem naturally arises. What is the representation theoretical meaning of these additional terms and Zweger's type functions? So it is a problem. Now, by using this result, we co consider the admissible representation. Admissible weight is, by definition, it is integrable with respect to some sub-root systems. So it is a maximal sub-root system, so integrable with respect. <coughs> then the like, super character of this highest weight module is the character formula, super character is tau is replaced by m tau, m is just one. And z1, z2 is just z1 plus k1 tau, z2 plus k tau tau. So this is also the, our conjecture, conjectural character formula for admissible modules. And then we, we modification, it is not a modular function, so we consider the modification of super character, of the numerator of super characters. So this was the, this was the honest numerator. So we put phi tilde, replace it, phi tilde, modular function, and put some fact, suitable factors, and, and and, and we consider epsilon, epsilon prime. So epsilon, epsilon prime is zero or one half. Zero is super character or character, and don't twist it, twist it. Then we, we con consider four, four types of characters. Then they form an invariant family, SL2Z invariant family. Modular transformation properties. The explicit transformation formula, S transformation, it is, this is transformation matrix. And, and T transformation produces just one, just this factor. And then we consider the quantum Hamiltonian reduction. So, Given the data, finite dimensional Lie super algebra and nilpotent element and level of, of representation, then we get W algebras. So in the very, very beautiful case is F is a minimal nilpotent element, root vector of the lowest Root, uh, lowest root. Then in the case, if G is SL to C, then W algebra is Bilasoro. And OSP12, then W algebra is L equal to 1. Then this. So, so if, if we, so it is a very, so in this, in this program, the, so affine the al uh, super algebras, give very, uh, very, uh, very many information to give the super algebra. For example, n equal to characters are obtained, computed from this, and modular transformation are calculated from the modular transformation of characters of SL hat to one. So in our case, we are considering just this SL2 one, so we get 
N equal to super conformal algebra. N equal to super conformal algebra is uh, <coughs> spanned by Virasoro Ln and Jn even element and odd element, two kind two series of uh, odd elements, G plus n and G minus n and central element. And uh, in that case, if you take G n n half integers, then Nubunshi was zero Ramon. And bracket relation is given by this table. And Kaltan subalgebra is just linear span three dimensional, L0, is, C is the center. So actually, it is two dimensional. And character of n equal to super conformal algebra representation are obtained from the character of admissible SL hat one module by letting G1 is Z and G2 is minus Z. So in the, this is a character of admissible representation. <coughs> so we put G minus Z. Then this is a character of an equal to highest weight representation. So if we put children, so modified to be a extended to, to be a modular, modular form, then, then we get extension, mo mo modular function extension to, of characters. And parameter, domain of parameter is just given by this. And central charge is given by this number. And modular transformation of n equal to character is is computed from the modular transformation formula of this function and obtain, we obtain such transformation formula. And then n equal to highest weight lips, Cartan subalgebra is three dimensional, L0 and J0 and center. So the, we put the high, eigenvalue of L0 the highest weight vector H and J0 S G spin spin and central charge. <coughs> then H S three it is determined by three numbers. And in this case, n equal to representations are parameterized by JK. So in each case, H J K S J K central are given by these formulas. And in the case of m equal to zero, so m equal to zero means uh, L zero, so a, a trivial representation of SL hat one. So admissible representations corresponding to trivial representation of SL hat one. Then the central charge is just this part is equal to zero and m minus two. So it is well known central charge of minimal series of n equal to super conformal algebra. But in, in our case, we consider m lambda zero for arbitrary m. M is a arbitrary non-negative integer. So in the case of m positive, so in this case, we, we, we need, we get, we need modification, so, so, and we get modular properties and mo modular series. Then there are new representation of n equal to super conformal algebras. And we hope that there should be exist the new n equal to conformal field theory corresponding to these mock modular series. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for keeping perfectly the time. Are there questions? So why do you think this <coughs> why do you think that there is going to see a few rational? Why speak louder, please? Why is that rational? Why is the corresponding CFT? Why should they be rational? Rational, rational. <laughs> Uh, rational means, uh, means the number of 
irreducible representation correspond to that central charge is the uh, representation of vertex algebra, vertex operator algebra is finite. So this is just fit to this case. And, and uh, vertex algebra representation is completely irreducible. So, so f uh, f uh, just this fit to this situation. So, so we hope. So, but so, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, at, at present, there are no theories. So, but this was, uh, we think there should be, we hope that there should be. More questions? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>